This video poster presents a book about Australasian tectites. It contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings, using the link in the description below. This poster is about layered tectites, also called Muang Nong tectites, and contemporary sediment layers. Muang Nong, or layered tectites, are blocky layered pieces of black glass, found in a restricted area in Southeast Asia. They were named after the Muang Nong village in Lao PDR, where they were first described by Alfred Lacroix. They are part of the Southeast Asian tectite strewn field, but distinctively different from splash form tectites. They have a bulky form, with a weight up to several kilograms, have distinct layering, and sometimes cracks on the surface, called bread crust, have degassing vents, and atmospheric gas composition in bubbles. They can show slope and flattening flow, and complex layering structures. The layers are often described as alternating light and dark layers. The difference is the contents of gas bubbles, that by reflection and refraction make the light layers look light, when, however, the glass itself has the same black color in both layer types. Alfred Lacroix described the Muang Nong tectites as blocks, lay blocks, and described their discovery in large size. One measuring 0.3 by 0.2 meters, and at several kilograms, from south of Muang Nong village in now Lao PDR. Also, he mentions that he has seen considerable numbers of very small microscopic spherical gas bubbles, never large ones. This is a micrograph, of new spallation of a light layer in Muang Nong tectite number 1 with bubbles, and plenty of milky quartz grains, surrounded by white froth. The finer grain sizes that originally were in the sediments, from which the Muang Nong tectites probably were created, can with some certainty be estimated from the layering, as no layer can be thinner than the particle size. This gives an idea of lower grain size in the silt class of 0.04 mm. An idea about the upper grain size class, can be estimated from the largest remaining quartz grains in froth, around 1 to 2 mm. A pixel profile of tectite number 320 in the previous image, shows 20 layers. The average layer thickness is 0.04 mm, giving a maximal grain size in the silt fraction. If the tectite flattened during melting, the grain size could be slightly larger. The polished and unpolished sides of Muang Nong tectite number 461, showing light and dark layers, double-tipped bubbles, and froth. Sediment layers have different characteristics, that evidence their creation. Apart from the layers themselves, sedimentary rocks can show cross-bedding, slope folds, differences in particle size, erosional truncation, graded bedding, and parting lineation. Slope folds are sin-sedimentary folds, created by slumping in the soft sediment. Cross bedding requires a specific velocity of water flow, and graded bedding requires a change in velocity and grain size to separate grains, while parting lineation requires both specific grain sizes, and specific current velocities. Rare cross bedding can even be found in clay pools, formed at very low velocities or by stagnant water. Layers of different grain sizes in a Muang Nong tectite. Middle layers are fine-grained, silt or clay, and with very few bubbles. Layers above and below were coarser grained. Yellow parts are laterite sediments residues, in vents and bubbles. Cross bedding, erosional truncation, and graded bedding in a large Muang Nong tectite, visible after erosion. Micrograph, showing at least two cross bedding layers in Muang Nong tectite number 546.1, sloping backwards, and with planar bedding erosional contact between. This indicates creation by water current as wind cross-bedding typically slopes forwards. This thin section image shows one of the cross-beddings, from the previous image, in Muang Nong tectite number 546.1. Micrographs of layers in a spall from Muang Nong tectite number 592. From the spall side, left, and the surface side, right. The spall side also shows cracks radiating from top left. The layers on the surface side are made visible by chemical erosion, but are not visible on the spall side glass, other than as shadows from the surface side. Layer contours are made visible by chemical erosion, probably by difference in resistance to etching, not as difference in refractive indexes in the glass. 
arrows point to same layers in the two images. A slope fold or convoluted laminae, in Muang Nong tech type. It can also be interpreted as a top-down view of bark and shaped migrating flocule ripple, with most of the top eroded away. Note the ridge in front of the eroded part marked with R. The most distinctive feature of Muang Nong tectites is probably the vents. Muang Nong tectite number 606 shows parting lineation marked P, with vents aligned, and vent openings marked V, at both ends. Gases escaped between layers in same direction as parting lineation, creating vents towards least resistance, likely in a dry contemporary sediment. Parting lineation in sand is easily visible. Parting lineation also exists in finer grained sediments, but is not visible by the naked eye. Download chapter 11 and 12 from the link below to read more about these topics.